DPFs. Rest assured, there is heaps and heaps of Prado owners in the last four years since the 1GD's been out, the 2.8, fitted with a DPF that have not had any problems. If you're not sure about that, go and join the group. Hashtag 1GD Forever Crew. That's capital GDF ORE ER Forever Crew with a capital C. Hashtag 1GD Forever Crew. Look, you can go and join that group, put up your experiences, good or bad, whether you've had problems with DPFs. Um, there's people calling them faulty. We don't believe they're faulty. Um, could be some software improvements, but that's not a faulty DPF. What's faulty is possibly the way they're used. If you do a lot of short trips, idling, look, it's a bigger problem in the Hiluxes. Perhaps there's a theory that because you know they're the tradies possibly doing shorter trips going job to job as opposed to Fortuners or Prados that are doing bigger highway touring trips because the Prados just don't seem to be having the problems they do very small numbers I've been gathering information on this for years at this stage we avoid doing much work on 1GDs we said we did warn you and say stick with the 1KD FDV last for the best that's not to say that you know, look, Toyota probably held off on putting DPS in vehicles for good reason for a long time. Other brands have been having problems for decades. And I still believe, even back then, with Subarus or Mazdas or whatever the case may be, it's problems with the way they're used. People that use vehicles for short trips, going to work, stop-start traffic and idling, shouldn't be buying new diesels, in my opinion. But I don't believe it's a problem with the DPF, like it's been called faulty class action I think it's a bit of a joke to be honest but anyway let's see what actually really happens because there's other class actions and things that have been called class actions that didn't happen um, some people I think they're just chasing they want to be famous you know they've got the camera in their face they're out there trying to stir it up because they just want to get attention for their own business so once again the way we see it not a faulty DPF Perhaps software could be improved, and that will has and will improve over time. It's more about the way you use it, we believe. So, you know, don't panic. I think Prados, some of them have been devalued by, you know, $5,000 overnight because some people go into panic stations and, you know, that's, that's what they want to believe. They, you know, they go into a panic and, oh, no, you know. But look, not really. It, it hasn't really happened. Toyota's a solid, awesome engineering. These engines, in theory, have improved. They've got hydraulic lifters. There's no timing belt. So there's less maintenance as far as that goes. The injectors would be better. They're definitely easier to access um, outside the engine. But we'll go into that in other videos. So once again, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on um, the important information. We can't do it all at once. It comes in blocks. Um, we can't give you 25 years experience in a few videos it's just a few minutes here or there but I hope that's helped a little bit in related in relation to the DPFs and what they are it's a filter diesel particulate filter think about it if it's flowing faster on the highway you're towing you're getting it hot it's going to burn that off it's going to work the way it was designed to remember no manufacturer wanted to do this to the engine it was forced upon them to meet emissions okay the diesels put out usually put out over 50 times more particulates than a petrol and this is a system that is um, put in place to treat that to reduce those particulates which are actually actually a good thing if it works so as i said before please don't go deleting your dpfs um, if you haven't had problems with them toyota's got a five seven year warranty at the moment and um, you know you probably won't have issues under warranty and if you do I'm sure they're sorting it to the best of their ability. Look, you're not even going to, you're not always going to get the best service at every dealership. Um, you're dealing with people, maybe they've had a bad day. Look, you know, so just be aware of that. So you're not always going to get the best service. We're not supporting that you get the best service all the time. Different places, different people. Look, the product's what it is. It's been forced to be put there. You chose to buy the vehicle with that, and you need to use the vehicle in a suitable manner that will allow it to do those burns or be prepared for them to deal with it as it happens with software updates trying to make it better for you. So guys, I hope you understand that. Once again, have a nice day. See ya.